My name is Ujo Isaac. The next topic I will treat in this course is how to post prepaid rent. When you make a prepayment for rent, when you pay rent in advance, how do you treat it in Sage 50? That is what we want to treat now. In most cases, rent in Nigeria is paid on a yearly basis, whereby reporting in our P&L is based on a monthly basis. So if you pay rent in advance by paying the total rent for the year, when you are reporting it, you need to report it by dividing the amount with the number of months. From there you will get the monthly payment. So this is what you are going to report in your P and L, in your management report, so that your reporting will be proper, so that you will not be overshooting or over-reporting income or under-reporting expenses. So please, let's follow this uh, step. We go to case study again. This is our case study. Look at the topic, prepare rent. So how do we treat this preparant? Taking this question, on the 1st of January 2020, the sum of 1.2 million was paid to the landlord for the whole year with UBA check 2888987. How do we treat this? 1.2 million have been paid for the whole year. So let us uh, post it now. If we are posting it, we are paying it in January. We are not going to pay all of them for under the expense ledger for the whole year in your 650. You need to first and foremost create a ledger, an asset ledger, which is called prepay rent ledger, where you will pay this money to. You will have this money 1.2 million. After which you will now be posting a case and reducing it from that very account that is the prepaid rent account so let us do it now let us go to search 50. i go to c50 again i go to maintain menu charts of account i'm here to check if i have that ledger uh, set up prepare rent if i don't have it i need to set it up so i will look for one four, which is an account, which is a, an asset account. One four, that is fourteen thousand. Okay, okay, I can see prepaid expenses. Yes, I can also see prepaid expenses rent. All right, so I can use this very one. All right, so since it is there, we can proceed to do the posting right now. But if it is not there in your own, you need to set up this very prepaid rent. My ledger account here is what the number is 14020 the description is prepare expenses by rent then order current assets after you have set up this in the chart of account you now proceed to pay let's let's close this no okay so tax i want to pay the landlord now another thing you need to set up is the landlord who normally collects money from you Okay, so let us find out if we also have set up the landlord. If we have not set this up, we set up the landlord as a vendor. Tax payments. So I click on the drop down list under the payment window vendor. Vendor ID, landlord. This is landlord. I've set him up. So when you are posting your own, you are going to also set up landlord. I click on landlord. So the landlord. Uh, name will appear so i will now enter the information here what is the check reference number let us check uh, the question okay reference number i uh, the check number now is this this is the check number zero two eight eight nine eight seven okay so let's post that you'll be a U B A. Okay. So when am I posting this very particular expense? 
According to the question, the question says, on the 1st of January. Fine. On the 1st of January, that is when this company normally pay. Just can be on the 5th of May or on the 10th of May. Okay, so this I'm paying now. Let us use May. I will use May 17, for instance, or May 20. May 20, that, I, that is when I'm paying for the whole year. It means that if I if my rent start from May, then the next time or I will pay will be in April 2024. Okay, go to cash account. I select my UBA under the cash account. I select UBA, UBA current account. So what am I paying with method of payment? Check. Okay, I select check. So I will come to the description and say rent prepared. for 2023-2024 okay so I will select the account that is the prepayment account because that is where the money is going to stay first the transaction will now be posted like this this account which is an asset account will be debited this prepaid rent Expense account will be debited while this UBA cash account will be credited. That is the treatment now. So I will enter the full amount 120. Sorry, 1.2. 1.2 million. Okay. So this is 1.2 million. It has been recorded. This is the first step. The first step is for you to post this to the landlord's account. Okay, so I will save. So with this, I have created it as a prepayment. So how do I now spread the payment one after the other? One month by one month. That is the next thing to post now. So what I will do in that case, I will go to task. I will use general journal entry. Go to general journal entry, then select the date of the first month, May. Let me select May 31st because um, I assume that I'm going to pay the first month on May 31st. Okay, so the reference number I will enter there. Okay, so now I have done the payment, remember? This is now an in-house arrangement in order for me to report very well. I'm reporting in January, sorry, in May now. I'm reporting this payment, part of it, which is monthly payment now. One month in my May account, in my May profit and loss account. Okay, so let's do that. So I'll go to general ledger account under the general ledger account you know that rent is good to be debited rent expense account is good to be debited so i select rent expense account rent expense account or rent and lease okay so i'll look for it rent rent I said it rent and le or lease expense. So I will now say rent for sorry the month of May. 2023. 20, so this is how I'm going to post it here. I press my tab key. Then I will divide the one point one point two million, which will give me hundred thousand per month. Which means my monthly 
payment for rent is 200,000. I will enter 100,000 here. So I press my tab key and move to the next row. So the next row will be the access account, which I'm going to credit. That is the rent access account. 14,020. Look at it. Rent expense account. So the same amount will come here. 100,000. I press my tab key. So after I have done that, I will check the totals. The totals are the same. 100,000 on the debit, 100,000 on the credit. Then out of balance, zero. So this is what I will continue to post every month, at the end of every month, in order to report this properly in my profit and loss. It is not right for me to enter or post the 1.2 million in one month. That is what I'll be stretching upon. I know that you have gotten that. Okay. So, at the end of June, I will post this again. You know, after posting the 100,000, it's going to negate that with the assets account prepay rent and it will balance, it will reduce it and it will balance 1.1. Then I post one, uh, the one of uh, June, it will remain 1 million. So that is how it's going to be continuously. It's another method. Another method that have been developed by Sage is to help you set up this posting so that the software will be helping you to post at the end of every month until the 12 months are exhausted. That is the automation. So automatically, it is, it, you go to copy, under copy here, you click the, the small arrow beside it and click on reoccurring reoccurring button so this is it you want it to be recurring on every month you want this posted to be recurring on monthly so if it is every four weeks is here monthly per use twice a year what we want to do is to set up a reoccurring automatic reoccurring posting every month so we select that and uh, go to the next one it said first transaction date which i have just done now 31st of may 2023 the end of transaction 31st of may no this is not correct that should be and that will be april 2024 so that is you can enter it here select it in this uh, calendar on this calendar or if you don't want to do that alternatively you will now simply say end after 12 occurrences you put 12 here you enter 12 let me enter 12 1 2 press your tab key after you have done that remember press your tab key after you have done that okay so look at now the date and 30th april 2024 which i have said before so if you set this like this this rent posting will end on april 2024 this is automatic posting of this kind of transaction that will continue to reoccur. So this is how to post this kind of rent. That is to say, prepared rent. Okay, we have done that. All right, so let's go to reports to verify what we have done. I go to report and forms, select uh, financials. From financials, I select a general ledger balance sheet standard and click on standard for the current one let's see how it's going to appear so look at it prepared expenses look at this rent look at the prepared rent expenses 1.1 million that which i have said before 1.1 million so it has taken out the current month may so that is how it is okay let's expand this transaction to next month which is a uh, june let's see if that has been taken care of okay so uh range june june 2023 okay six okay we okay it this is june 2023 look at it prepare rent nine hundred thousand 
can go on and on and on until it is totally liquidated. So this is how to post prepared rent expenses in Sage 50. Thank you. Please share this video. Like this video and share it to your friends. My name again is Ujo Isaac, the manager of Presta Prayer Concert in Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you.